possibilities for dates of the by election? I really don't know because it um, really depends on uh, the Prime Minister uh, and uh, he has to decide. Uh. So I think for me, uh, this evening is really to continue what uh, Michael Palmer and the grassroots have started, uh, which is to distribute the rations and uh, financial assistance and vouchers for uh, for the needy families. Uh. Mm. Have you heard any word from the political leaders about whether it will take place anytime soon? Currently, I haven't heard anything because um, it's been a really busy couple of weeks for me. Uh, we have been spending a lot of time with the grassroots uh, on the ground, uh, trying to resolve different issues. Uh. Mm. What about the possibility of a multi-corned fight? What are your thoughts on that? Oh, I've always uh, I thought that um, the residents would have more choice if it's a multi-corned fight, uh, uh, or more parties are actually uh, interested in Pongo East. Uh, like I said before, uh, it's always important that uh, the interests of the residents must be placed first. Mm. Uh, what are the residents' concerns so far that you've heard? Several, several. Very, very diverse as well. Uh, some of the more important ones are the ones that is important to them, and they have actually feedback a bit more loudly uh, compared to the the other uh, issues were uh, Riverville Plaza issues because I think they use that place really often to buy groceries and also to go to patronize the shops. Uh, they want it to be completed soon, and of course the traffic. Uh, safety around the area. I guess uh, Pongo East is nearer to some of the uh, expressway turning in and straight roads and, uh, and speeding was an issue. So those these two issues I've addressed them in the last couple of weeks. And uh, coming down their individual issues, there's uh, financial assistance, there's also welfare issues and uh, municipal issues like hardware in terms of infrastructure amenities, uh, of course childcare, and I get a lot of that. I, it's not such a bad thing in terms of uh, uh, more children are in this constituency because we, we want to encourage that. But we also have to build, possibly have more childcare centres too around the area. Yeah. Has the party mm. shortlist any possible candidates? No, uh, I, well, the, the party uh, always on the lookout for good people always on the lookout, uh, always seeking recommendations uh, for good people uh, to join the party. Um, whether it's for any election, whether it's 2016, 20, you know, whichever is the general election that will be called, I think that's where we are always preparing ourselves. Uh. They're always looking for talents. Mm. Mm. Um, have any residents' feedback, given you any feedback on whether they want a by-election or not? <laughs> I... So I walk around quite often and uh, initially residents were concerned about my health, saying, uh, well, you lost a bit of weight and things like that. Right now, the residents are, uh, some of them are jokingly telling me, say, are you going to run for election here? You know, um, uh, It seems like you're spending quite a bit of time in uh, Pongo East and as well as your own constituency. Is there any chance for you to, to be here? Well, I, I, I think that is an encouragement for the work that I'm doing and uh, for the endorsement as well. Uh, but it's really something which I have uh, no knowledge of at this point in time. Uh, it's really up to the Prime Minister to decide. Yeah. But seeing as you basically yeah. really started your job here as the caretaker and the house of yes. what do you think this will be if there is no by-election? Sorry, how's the... House of what do you think it is for you running two jobs? You know, I, two yeah, I, I, like I said, I do the best I can. And... and uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, definitely it's, uh, it's very tight on time for me and the schedule. And, uh, and to be fair to constituencies on both sides, uh, there's only that limited time that I have to manage. Uh, I want to be fair to both sides, huh? so I'm doing my best. Uh, but ultimately, I believe that uh, my constituency that I came from, which is Pongo Central, the residents voted for me. I have to take care of them. Yeah. But since I'm tasked, I would have to take care of Pongo East residents at this point in time. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, SDP, they just announced the all crowds and their activities yeah. here. What do you think about that? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> well, if, um, if other parties are interested, of course, they have to do their part as well to get to know the place better. And uh, I wouldn't be surprised if any other parties that would be interested 
uh, spending a bit more time on the ground trying to understand uh, residents' needs and all. Uh, like I said, if more parties are involved, uh, uh, interested in Pongo East and the and the status here and the issues here, it's not such a bad thing for the residents ultimately. Then if there's ever going to be uh, any election and more parties are involved, then there will be more choices for the residents here. Mm. Of this of as well. I would like to think that uh, the residents must have their choices. Uh, if they have their choices, then it's important for them to make an informed choice uh, when the time comes. Uh, whether it favours any party or not, it's really hard to tell. Uh, because uh, no election has been called yet. <laughs> Talking about the first candidate, the TAP has been working the ground now for a few weeks after the former MP resigned. Uh, what kind of candidate do you think this constituency needs and what challenges do you face? Uh, what kind of candidate is that? What is the candidate for the this Pongo East residents uh, has been, most of the residents have lived here for a fair amount of time, and for many, more than 10 years, up to 15 years. Um, and uh, some of them grew up with the area in a sense. Uh, and the demographics itself does comprises of uh, different age segments, uh, middle age to the much older. I think one that can engage uh, the ground effectively um, and also, at the same time, understand the needs of um, the very young to the very old, which is the elderly, and also the middle income, uh, would be quite important. And most important, most importantly, the heart must be at the right place and have a passion to serve, and uh, must really always place uh, the welfare of the residents first and foremost. Yeah. Yeah, one more question for yeah. me. Okay, okay. So that uh, actually Pongo East uh, has been getting ready uh, all those what uh, plywood and everything like that. So uh, do you think that the election will be very soon? Like all these preparation? Do you, do, do you see the plywoods? You, you, you saw the plywoods? Uh? <laughs> oh, you, you didn't see the plywoods? Uh? Because you didn't see the plywood, I also don't know how to address your issue. Yeah, you, you saw the plywoods. It was reported. Did they see the plywood? <laughs> you, you heard, uh, but you have to actually see it, right? So is there plywood, sir? <laughs> well, it's really, it's really for you all to find out, right? <laughs> huh? Well, whether there's plywood or not, I, I think um, as a political party, uh, we must always be ready if there's uh, if election is called. So, uh, well, whether we have bought the plywood, we didn't buy the plywood, or we have gotten any other type of uh, items or equipments, I think it's just about getting ready at all times, uh, apart from the things that we are doing today, la, which is really serving residents, helping residents. I think as a political organization, you also have to be ready uh, at any point in time you're called for campaigning for election. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks. thanks. Sorry, just one last yeah. question. She was saying that uh, residents feel yes. back that uh, you know, there's a lack of uh, bus services and coffee mm. shops in the area, right? Mm. Do you want to do anything about these two issues? I think there's a new coffee shop uh, right at the 180 series, 182. Um, and um, as far as bus services is concerned, I did mention that um, residents' feedback to me uh, wasn't wasn't just about bus services because it's, it's a holistic solution they are looking for. I think first and foremost they are worried about the safety on the road because a lot of vehicles are travelling really at high speed along the roads at the edges um, right after they turn in from the expressway. And uh, I think the, the safety ones, uh, those issues that con uh, pertaining to the safety of the residents, I want to address that one first. And then uh, also, of course, I will look at the LRT uh, in terms of how packed it is, how congested it is, uh, because a lot of them take the feeder LRT and then bus services and all. So it's a holistic, it's a holistic solution. Uh.